Welcome to NBA Christmas Day, the Bird and Tarasi show. Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas. There's one way we start this show. D, hit a little cheers. Did we get it? Boom. Um, you're going to be spending your Christmas with us, but luckily we have a great game on deck, the Bucks versus the Knicks at MSG. We also have a pretty epic guest list. D, who are you looking forward to talking to? I mean, look at these faces. Trey Way, Jason, Stewart, Tyrese, Teaspoon, but Leslie Jones. You know, I haven't talked to her in a while since so she did that little message for us for the Olympics, so I'm very interested to see how Leslie's doing these days. We're excited to have Trey Young, two-time All-Star point guard out of the, uh, out of down in the A, Atlanta Hawks. Uh, Merry Christmas to Trey. We do have some hard-hitting questions for you, Trey, um, so don't be too nervous, but you know, last year you rocked, rocked some matching pajamas <laughs> with baby Titus. What'd you guys come with this year? Oh, uh, well, first, uh, Merry Christmas to both of y'all. Um, uh, this year, uh, it was more about the, the gifts this year. He can open presents now. Um, me and my wife got him some, some really cool gifts. Got him a little blow up, little jump house. He can jump around the living room right now. And uh, so we just been spending some time with him. He made, made Santa Claus some cookies last night. So uh, got to do a little bit more of the fun stuff this year on Christmas. I love when, you know, players talk about other players. I said, you know, two great players. And Trey goes, yeah, two good players got together. And, and, and Damon Yannis, I love that because you never want to say another player is great. You're like, yeah, yeah, he's all right. He's all right. <laughs> like, Sue always asked me, who's the best defender? I was like, there's yeah. no best defender. It's just who fouls the most and doesn't get called for it. There's no best defender out there. <laughs> yeah. What's your take on that, Trey? No, What's your take on that? It's just a part that? of that competitive gene that we have. It's a part of that competitive, that competitive gene that we have. You just, I mean, you know you got respect for them. You know that we're all, just us being a part of this league is us being one of ones in general. So um, we have respect in that factor already. But as a competitor in it, you also feel like you're, you're one of those guys too. And you, uh, you I mean, you're a competitor in that way too. So you, you definitely hold yourself to a standard. Yeah, I mean, Dang, I mean, we all know Dane's game. I mean, like I said, he can score from all the levels. Um, I mean, get his teammates involved. And I mean, obviously not everybody can finish games neither in the clutch. And he's obviously been known for what he's been able to do in the clutch. And um, so that he's, he's big time when it comes to that. And then Jalen, uh, when I was a freshman at Oklahoma, he won player of the year that year, uh, Villanova. And um, even though I'm, they have been upset in one player of the year. I understood why. Um, and after meeting them at the, the Wooden Awards, I, I really understood why. Uh, just from, I mean, the talent he has and then the, the type of person he is. He's been a hell of a player uh, uh, ever since then. But we are bringing on our next guest. Super excited for this one. Brianna Stewart, a.k.a. Stewie. Member of the, oh, God, I'm going to have to choke this one out. Member of the New York <laughs> Liberty joining the show. Stewie, Merry Christmas. Well, won't be your first time, Stewie. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. Look at twinning. I know. You Merry Christmas, Christmas Stewie. We're, the money, the, yeah. We're uh, the money team over here. Yeah. We're the money team. Speaking of speaking of choking things up, um, you did a Hot Ones for your yes. schedule oh release. My gosh. Please tell us what that was like. Well, I did 12 different wings and it started off pretty good. Started off mild and then by the 10th one, um, shit got hot. And then the last dab was oh. next level. You know, just took it, you know, took it so to the... you tried. It, it, you was, tried it. It, it was so hot. She took it to the, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just got hot in here. Uh, man, those numbers are I mean, your, your numbers are pretty, are pretty crappy. They're pretty crappy. That was like my. I know, I'm like third best season <laughs> um, I was gonna say we were holding you back in Seattle clearly no watching. it's definitely a different energy when you play when you play in the city and one Jalen Brunson take that Becky Hammond we're gonna do a little ghost of Christmas past you have to name your oh starting all-time UConn five 
My audio Lock went out. Steak. I don't know what Lock you guys are saying, here. but I'm you sure. You can't name yourself, obviously. I'm sure. I can't name myself. Compelling. Okay. I can't name myself. Sue, D, Maya, Tina, Rebecca. I can't name myself. I would pick myself too. What Knicks game I watch, I always feel like I'm watching like Greg Anthony and Larry Johnson, um, Patrick, U it like doesn't even matter what era, they all play the same. It's bizarre. What's your point? I'm just saying it's really gritty basketball. <laughs> okay, okay. It's really slow and grindy and gritty, just like the city, <laughs> right? <sighs> Not sure about the slow part. Ah, uh, I mean, if I'm the Bucks, I live all day with Julius Randle shooting threes. I would agree with that. You got the WWF belts in the back. What's going on back there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big wrestling nerd, so I collect I collect them now. So yeah, I got a bunch of the back. But like, how old are you? Because are we talking Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior vibes? Or are oh, you more stop, like stop, stop, Stone stop, Cold stop. Austin? <laughs> I'm born in 2000. Stop it. Uh, we're talking past Austin. All right, Hogan, say less. Past Austin. We're like Cena. D, what were you like doing current. in 2000? Uh, the year was 2000. I was freshman in Stores, Connecticut. And I was cleaning up a lot of puke. Uh, you know, you playing, you're playing with um, one of Sue's old coaches and Jenny. Good old Jenny Buchek. And, you know, it's funny because Sue said offensively she was one of the best coaches she ever played for and was very futuristic way, the way she looks at offense. And you guys are just putting up just a crazy amount of points right now. How much say does she have, uh, you know, on the tweaks and going into game to game? Uh, well, Jenny mainly is our, it runs our defense these days, so um, her Oh, well, isn't thing, that funny? Right? She's not doing a good job of that. <laughs> I mean, can we talk, can we talk about this ball? Like, do you have yeah, the two-point ball, ball or like the hundred-point ball? Which ball does, which Where ball, and can you ball? name, and can you name your teammate's name? Can you even name that guy? Who, who, who cares about that guy's two points? Give me a break. <laughs> I don't know if I have a ball in this house. I have three-pointer ball upstairs somewhere. Um, that's the only ball I have in my house. So, uh, yeah, I'm not. I, but did, did I, I don't anybody? Know what, I don't know what happened. But did anybody? Sorry, sorry. Did anybody? Like, has does has anyone said where the game ball is? Like, do we know? Oh, we know exactly where the game ball is. Everybody knows where the game ball is, but um, that's not on. That's not on our, us to tell you that the people who have the ball should tell you where the ball is, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not on me or not on our organization oh, to tell okay. you where the ball is. But can, so my, my actual question is, if, if you went and played a game with a ball and then somebody handed you that ball after, you'd be able to be like, oh, no, that's not the one. No, that's no, that's cap. No, if you guys tell me that you guys could come on, you guys have had a lot of high scoring games. You could touch the ball five minutes later and you're not going to know what was the ball. That's cap. I'm not here again. I mean, he looks like the Midwest Brunson. <laughs> yeah? That's what you're going with? Oh, look at That's look an that. NBA three, too. Look at Jason Brunson out there. Jason Brunson. You know, basketball, no matter what, it's a game of deception in a lot of ways, right? You know, you're trying to deceive the defender, you're trying to deceive the ref and the players that do it the best get to the free throw line the mess. I think, you know, Tyrese was talking about Jalen doing it and we've all seen those people and we played against them and with them. And when they're on your team, you're like, of course it's a foul. And when they're not on your team, you just want to punch them in their face. <laughs> I know, that's what it's like playing with and against you. But I've said that, you know that already. Drumming, chilling courtside. This man knows what he's doing. Please welcome, oh, Chris Kringle himself, Jason Sudeikis. Thanks for coming oh. on the show. 
I'm keeping this green motif going. You guys got cooking today. It's nice. I know. Luckily, I have this you know, Buddy the Elf it. onesie just sitting around. As we do. Jason has, has two children. Diana also has two children. D, where's your onesie? We don't talk about children on this show. Oh, hey, girls. Oh, look who it is. Are those well, some elves? We got some elves? That's, that's, that's Daisy. That's Otis. These, these are, these the, are the elves. Elves. You just want to say the hi? Elves, elves. I love yeah, that. You're just saying hi. Yeah. All right. No. They no, 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 no yeah. bigger NBA predictions from these two? I don't know. Who do you think? Bucks are next tonight? Or right now? You don't know. I don't know from Daisy Otis. Knicks. He's going Knicks. He's all in on the Knicks. That's a New Yorker. Oh, we're going Knicks too. New York, New York kids. Yeah, they're you know we're here. We're down the road from Barclays, so we saw the Knicks uh, you know beat the Nets unfortunately the other night. But but yeah, so you know keep it cooking. <laughs> so take it. Oh my goodness. Four threes, fourteen points. I mean, the power of editing speaks for itself. <laughs> speaks for itself. What was I, um, I was so was nervous like that going up games? there. So <laughs> nervous. I because that especially that one that was like in 2013, I want to say or 2012. And I hadn't played in months. And and Sue, you and I talked about that. Like we haven't shot in a long time. Like that first game back, it could just it could it could be uh, crazy. And I was certain I was going to end up being a gift of some sort. Like getting my ankles broken, you know, throwing a pass like in the like a referee's head or something, something stupid. And lo and behold, it became that, you know, hitting that first three pointer off the glass from the top of the key. I was like, OK, here we go. Since you've been working out with Stewie a lot and you're a huge Knicks fan, when you watch Jalen Brunson out there, are you like, that could be me? With the lefty, I, you know, I um, yeah, you're like, that's high. That's high praise. That's high praise. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Look, um, you know maybe if I if I got my my hair you know all twisted up like I used to do in English class to you know drive my teachers crazy, um, then maybe you, you would probably have a tough time distinguishing our games. But just just hairstyles alone um, sets us apart. Yeah, no. So you've said it. So if you played in the NBA, you'd be a, a Jalen Brunson type. Um, it must be the lefty thing, but. In fact, uh, the Naismith rules, they talk a lot about fisting. I, I, I'm like not even joking. You can't fist the ball. It says it right there on the plaque. So yeah. mm, with that, you we know. do want to thank you, Jason, for coming on the show. It always goes back to, to Kansas, the motherland. Now, we appreciate you. Every, oh, look at you two. Look at us. It looks like uh, the cover art for Jungle Fever. What are you guys <laughs> playing? Thumb War? Something. Who knows? Does anyone? Can somebody get an awkward picture of D, please? <laughs> ah. Aww. Number one. Look at the baby. Ah. Look at the slick back. What's up with the HTK? Yeah. So we used to guard each other a lot. That was annoying. Ah, that was so annoying. I'm probably joke. saying something That's nasty fair. there. Look at my old teeth. <laughs> Second look, Sue. <laughs> she did like, that a lot, actually. That was that was her move. I was like, what is she having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it's possible. Oh, um, there it is. In slow mo. They're gonna it's hit like... it in slow mo. Oh, D, what are you? What is D doing? You know, D, what's I'm, this I'm move? A... I'm always the fluffer. I like the fluff. I like to make things fluffy, you know? <laughs> I'm saying it, it. Look at that. Made to perfection. Who's that? Look at you. Yeah, oh, you get into Garfield. it. I appreciate wow. that. <laughs> that's me. No, I mean, being a, being, being a Knicks fan is just like living to be heartbroken, which is life in a lot of ways. But the thing I love about Knicks fans, they remind me of like European fans. Like it doesn't matter what the game, how it goes, whether you win, whether you lose, like it's just this diehard emotion you guys have. Uh yeah, you know what? I, I don't usually go in the key, so. 
Oh, oh. Look at me. We're Look taking, at me. Number we got the weight back driving. machine. Look at my hair. My hair was serious. My hair was playing ball. Look at my hair. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, they that's way back. Got the hips all hiked up with the curved yeah. back. <laughs> I didn't know Jason loved the fundamentals of sports that much. Yeah, so when we were at KU, at Kansas, the University of Kansas, in their arena, they actually have the proper, like, like Naismith rules. Like, whatever he wrote. It's like the actual, I don't even know what to call it, scroll, plaque, something. So you can go up and, like, actually see what he wrote down as the, as the rules. It's pretty interesting. I took a picture, and I'll send it to you. And from all that, you just took fisting the ball? Yeah, that was, it was, um, it's pretty prevalent in the rule book. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna go back to the game um, for a little bit. This is oh. it right here. This is it right here. Charge. No, don't call it a charge. Oh, God. Is that not the most frustrating? A three-on-one turns into a charge? Oh, my God. I mean, look at the guy standing with his with his two hands up, the German guy, just standing there. Just standing there, mate. Give him the ball. Oh, that's so frustrating. We have a record-breaking night in Knicks history. Jalen Brunson cracking into the top three all time. Knicks points scored on Christmas Day, 38 tonight. I mean, I think what I respect most about it is, yeah, he scored a lot of points in the first, the second, but just then in those last couple possessions, even when he missed, he still came right back. And Bernard King is is in the house, checking it out. I don't know if anyone's gonna touch his record though. Do you think? Do you think, think D he has his game ball? I think I think Bernard is laughing because there's no chance of anyone ever beating 60. Bernard's <laughs> having a great Christmas. Like these fools can't touch me. He's having a great Christmas. <laughs> Just laughing away. And and Bernard, Bernard's probably like, where's my ball? Where's my leather basketball?